All right, guys, it is daily message time with Spirit coming live every day to get you guys a message to move us through the pandemic, as well as, of course, keep you on track to your personal manifestations. Uh, so I'm just going to channel the message. And then at the end, if you want to know how to work a little bit more up close and personal, I'll let you guys know how to do that if that's what you are interested in. But if not, sit back and enjoy the message. For some of you, we need you to believe that there's hope. We're not asking you to believe that there's a solution. See the silver lining, be happy, happy, joy, joy. We're saying just believe that there's hope. This is crushing. This sucks. I'm worried. I'm scared. I've been panicked. I need to believe that there's hope. Universe, show me how I can feel hopeful. If you could open your mind to that a bit. I need to see how I can feel hope. That's one step up from where you are. I need to see how there's hope. Then you'll get drawn to stories of companies increasing the pay for their employees. You'll get drawn to landlords who are forgiving rent. You'll get drawn to news of stimulus checks from governments. As much as it is a scary situation, and it is uncertain for a segment of the population, for those of you who aren't feeling this, we have a message for you after this. It is uncertain. It is, it is fearful. It is panic. We need you to be in a place of hoping that the next moment can feel a little bit better so that it can be delivered in the philanthropy, the help, the job out of nowhere, the somehow getting your job turned online. Kind of like an asthma attack. When someone's having an asthma attack, the advice that they're most given, is, besides when doctors come in with medicine and stuff, is relax as much as you can. Don't panic. When you panic, that's when it turns bad. Can you relax the muscles in your stomach? Can you... It's not you need to stay calm because we don't need you to not feel all of your emotions. We need you to not get wound up in them and allow the emotion to consume you and take over you and your the emotional state becomes your dominant point of attraction which will lead you down that di downward spiraling path. This is crushing. I don't know how I'm going to pay rent is a far better position than many of you are in right now. Instead of, I can't pay rent, I can't pay rent, I can't pay rent, getting wound up, being, I have no idea how I'm going to pay rent this month, and it would be scary to think I'm going to be kicked out. It is a scary thought. Universe, I need to start seeing the ways of how this is gonna, how this is, can take care of itself. I need to start feeling hopeful about this. Just that little bit of openness. Just a little bit of openness. That's all that segment of the population that's feeling that way. Just oh, a little bit of openness. I'm looking to feel a little bit more open, Universe. I'm just looking to feel a little bit more open. I'm looking to see how can this get solved? I'm looking to a little bit of open. Now for the other segment, there's many segments right now. We're focusing on the hardest hit economically, the ones who aren't being hit at all and in fact are thriving. Those are the two we're focusing on today. For those of you who are in the other category, keep thriving, keep thriving. Let's relate it back to caveman days for you. Two separate tribes, 50 miles apart. If one's burning up in flames and you walk over and see it, oh, they're burning up in flames. Let's light our, our tribe too so we can relate to them so that we could be like one. No. If your business is doing well, keep your employees employed. If, if your business is doing well, go for the stretch of growing your business. The other tribe, if they, oh shit, they have a fire going. Hey, let's start, let, let's start building more crops. Let's start building more tents so when we could go get them to come here, we could have supplies for them. Tide them over, let them process their emotions, and then they can come in and help us tend to the bigger garden that we started planting now. 
that's obvious for you guys to see when we when we tell it to you that way. Be okay that you're thriving. For those of you who consider investing in the stock market, yes, does it suck what's going on? But is it a cool thing that stocks are on sale, so to speak, right now? You have to allow yourself to still enjoy. It's not about bragging. It's not about the tribe that's in fire right now going, ha, I'm buying stock and I'm going to be making multi-millions off this from your suffering. No, no, no. It's not a time to brag. It's not a time to boast. It's not a time to, well, I prepared for the last five years. For those of you who are in that position of, well, I'm doing okay right now because I would just always buy items on sale. So I have a stockpile of mass. I have a stockpile of, of whatever it is you have. You guys persecuted me when I was stockpiling it. You guys made fun of me. Now look at you suffering. You're no better than them. You're no better than them if that's the position you're in. You want love? Acting separate isn't love. It's not about going ahead and giving away your stash. Being selfless and others before me. It's about just becoming aware of your vibrations, where are they at, and not getting wound up in them. As much as you are part of the category that would tell the people who are losing jobs and stuff to, you just got to relax. Take your own advice right now. You just got to relax. Hey, I did prepare for a while, and I've prepared well enough for me and my family, me and my family for the next six months. I have a surplus. All right. Humanity. Caring. So now that we hope you're gaining comfortable with being part of the group that is doing just fine, business as usual, or even part of the thriving group, because it's okay to be there and it's okay to give back. We don't need you guys getting in a hoard mentality. We need you guys to be the logical planners that you are. That's what's got you in the situation that you're in. You're planners, you build, you build financial forecasts, you, you know how to plan. So do your usual planning for yourself. Maybe add an extra month on since times are the times that they are, and then see how can you give back? How can you, do you want to donate? Do you want philanthropy? Do you want to give your employees a pay increase? Now is not the time to pinch off. Now is the time for you guys to keep business as usual. So our hope throughout this message for all the different categories of all the different people watching this is that you'll tune in to exactly how you feel right now. My business is doing well. I feel scared that it might be doing well in three months. And if I don't act now to downside my employees base, that my business might tank. You got to admit how you feel and go, so that's my starting point. Let me just re so that you can then relook your numbers. You can relook at your plans and go, well, we'll keep, this is the decision that I'll keep for this week. And every Sunday I'll review it. Give yourself that additional review period instead of decisions taking place for a quarter or for a month every week. All right, numbers are still the same. We'll keep them employed. I'll review this next Sunday. You don't want to get in a situation where you're reviewing it all the time. How do I feel right now? How do I feel right now? How the company doing? Oh, we made $50 today. Oh, that might be a sign we're tanking. You don't need to get in that panic. Just identify how you feel and do it in a I feel. I feel scared and worried about how I'm going to pay for rent. And then state, and how would you rather feel? And I would like to know how it would be possible to pay this. I would like to be know how, how, how I could keep a roof over my head. I feel, I feel like I should be cutting back in my business, and it scares me to think that. And I'd like to know how it could be possible for my business to grow. I need you guys to admit how you feel so that you don't get caught up and wound up in the emotion, but I feel this way, this is my starting point. And I know that I would like to feel this, I would like to feel better, I would like to see how this could happen. 
That way you can remain as open as possible so your manifestations can still come in. Your manifestations can still come in. And with that, we love you guys and look forward to touching base tomorrow. And we do look forward to connecting with some of you in one of in some of Kelly's programs she has going on. Wow. Wow. Oh, I had no idea that's what they were going to say. It's kind of, it's interesting to channel messages for you guys. So definitely give me a comment below uh, if you want to be up to date on all the messages. Make sure to hit subscribe on whatever platform you're watching this on. Uh, comment below. How did that hit and resonate for you guys? That I've never heard them say a message like that before. <laughs> um, yes. So if you guys are looking for a little bit more support during this time, I've got a lot of awesome and amazing programs for at every price point. Um, so if you want one-on-one -on -one work, go to kellylant.com forward slash apply. Just answer some questions and we'll hop on a phone call to see if uh, to see if we could build a custom program just for you to help you get the results that you want. Um, so that's going to be for the people who are in the category of I want to make sure my company is still doing well. I want to make sure that my company even maybe doubles, triples its revenue because millionaires were made in the last recession. Why shouldn't you be part of that group? Um, I also have some group programs for people who are not in the Thrive category just for that support so that you maintain your health, so that you keep on track for your personal manifestations, not necessarily a business one. I have some awesome group programs for that. So go to kellylant.com forward slash apply. Tell me what's going on and we'll see how I can help. For those of you who are just looking for light touch points all throughout the week and want lots of content from Spirit, come, come quarantine with Spirit and I. I'm literally calling it Quarantine with Spirit. Um, and that one is my most accessible based program. It's two months, April and May, where you get three live broadcasts every week. And you get access to a large library of pre-recorded content of me and spirit on every topic and possible. There's meditations in there. There's previous work with one-on-one -on -one clients in there. There are all my previous workshops in there as well. I wanted to put together a large library so that when everyone's like literally you're stuck at home, I wanted to give you access to personal growth information. This is the this is the access to source, infinite intelligence that to help you get that accelerated personal and spiritual growth at this time. Um, so if you want that, go to kellylunt.com forward slash quarantine with spirit. I'll also put links on the various platforms that this is gonna go out on. Um, it's only $200 for the whole two months. It's $197 for the whole two months for three touch points every week. We start April 7th. So come join. Come hang out with us. Um, and if those don't strike your fancy, comment below and just stay tuned for the daily messages from Spirit. Um, okay, love you guys. Bye.